Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I brought some tacos. I mentioned this on last time I did a uh, taco mukbang. Their tacos are amazing. I'll have their uh, Instagram down below. And especially right now with this whole little quarantine, people are not leaving the house. So they're doing like deliveries. So this came in like clutch. Perfect timing to be honest, yo. So a little bit of this onion everywhere. The tacos I got were asada, chicken, and el pastor. And then obviously I brought some lime. Ooh, that's spicy. And then I have a little jalapeno. Some of the tacos have green salsa and then there's red salsa, which that is spicy. But I love spicy, so it's perfect. And you already know, a little bit of lime. My mouth is just watering right now, yo. And today I actually have this little heat plate on so they stay nice and warm throughout this whole time. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Street tacos like this just hit so different. Let's try this little red salsa. I actually already kind of tried it because I had my finger in that, but on an actual taco. Mm-hmm. That was hot. I might sound like Paris Hilton throughout this whole video because I'm gonna be saying that's hot for a lot of things. So good. Going in with the chicken. Amazing. Hopefully I will be uploading this video tomorrow, which means it's Taco Tuesday. So if you're watching this video, grab yourself some tacos. If you're already watching it and you have no food, pause it. Go grab some food. You'll enjoy it way better. Mm. I think I only had, what was it? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, four. Twelve tacos. Still gonna be very filling. I gotta snap this because it just looks that much better when they're all fixed up, you know? If you guys saw my Instagram, you guys would know what I'm talking about. They're all in like separate trays for the meat. Their tortillas were in the bag. Tacos just look so amazing when they're so nice set up, you know? There's actually a lot of uh, businesses that are doing this whole little delivery thing, which, oh my God, <sighs> their tortillas, is that really that hot? But yeah, a lot of businesses are doing this whole little delivery thing. Mmm. For a lot of people, even ourselves earlier, we we're vlogging that we had to go get groceries and all that. We would rather go because Myers' parents, they're at a higher risk for the virus, you know? Doing this, people just delivering their services to you guys. It's much better. As it is, they have to be sanitary because they're dealing with food, you know? If you guys see on the vlog, he came with full-on little mask and everything, so props to him for doing that. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that's freaking hot. I keep on forgetting about this little hot plate. I'm gonna make more asada for my hand right now. Mm. This is my first time kind of using this little hot plate, so I'll slowly get used to it and know where to set it up at. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Felt like I burned my tongue with the salsa and the temperature. I completely forgot what I was saying. I freaking had to change out the battery. But yeah, here we go. Continue with the tacos. No! 
On my previous video, I asked you guys if that thing was pretty loud. Most of you guys were saying it's not super loud where it's distracting, but you could still hear it. And to me, it's like, no, I just don't want any distractions. I'd rather just not continue filming while that thing goes off for like a cool minute. So, yeah. Mmm. And I also wanted to say thank you to everybody that gave out positive vibes on my last video about me talking about my dad. If you guys have not seen that, I'll, I'll leave it down in the description. That was like a big part of my life that I had to open up about. Like how I was saying in that video, you just never know what other people are struggling through or going through. I don't know, maybe it helped someone that was going out through the same situation as me during that time. Yeah, thank you guys a lot. Also from that video, you guys were talking about me talking about when I was living in my car. So maybe I might film that within the next couple of videos. I'm, I'm not sure exactly when, but that was crazy as well. Four tacos left. <gasps> mm, mm, mm. Mm. <sighs> okay, so I got asada, chicken, el pastor, one of each left. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, but you try to save like best for last because I'll definitely do that when I'm eating something. I always leave like a small little bit of my burger left or whatever I favor from my meal. I always save like that small little bit left and then I'm like, okay, let me finish the rest and then I'll finish it off with that little piece left, you know? I feel like Handsome's trying to get inside. I hear him. That's how it's going down right now. I could definitely hear him by the door. I'm talking about handsome right now. Hold on. They announced the first animal with COVID-19. There's a tiger in Brooklyn Zoo that was tested positive for the COVID-19, which that sucks because like, honestly, even like we see handsome and butter buns, all, all our dogs, and they don't know what's going on, you know? They probably look at us with our little mask and all that and think nothing of it. And for us, like we love our dogs and we think of them as little souls. I don't know, it's just sad knowing that an animal has it. And I'm not sure what they're doing to help about the animals but already as it is it's hard for us to keep an eye on ourselves and we're doing as much as we can in hospitals now pets is like it's just uh, I don't know it's sad yo what hopefully this all ends soon it is crazy but Mm -hmm. One more taco. When me and Mara were at the store, there was some guy there and he was saying, hopefully this all ends soon, but he sees it as a sign from God for everybody coming together. You know, like we're not different. We all can simply just die. Like blink of an eye, you just never know. As much as you're given life, it could just simply be taken like that, you know? And with everybody being so racist or so hatred towards one another just cause their specific opinion on one subject or, I don't know, it's, it's stupid sometimes because someone could be doing something and have nothing to do with one person, but yet they're so judgmental about that. It's like, dude, like it's not affecting you. Pick out things that are wrong with you instead of picking things out wrong with somebody else, you know? And that's not even saying that that's wrong with certain people. It's just, that's their opinion. It's frustrating sometimes people going around judging others. It's just like, stop, dude. Like, I don't know. To me, it's kind of stupid. Our last little taco, and you know what? I kind of save that right on top. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Come and knock on my door. Oh. So I'm being complete fatty right now. 
But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys stay nice and clean. Remember if you guys are leaving the house as much as possible, stay clean, don't touch your face. And I was actually talking about this in the vlog. Even if you're wearing a bandana or something like that and people are saying that's not effective, I, I get that. But it's also gonna prevent you from touching something and then right after, because even for myself, I always bite my nails. So if I'm touching something that has the coronavirus and then boom, I'm biting my nails. If you put your hand completely under and bite your nails from under the bandana or whatever, then yeah, but mentally you're gonna be thinking about that and like, okay, no, I should not be putting my freaking fingers in my mouth. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I just wanted to say really quickly, already as it is, some people are going to like Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., you name it. You know, there's still fast food spots open, but I would suggest hit up spots like this. Even we know a certain couple uh, spots besides Tacos de Guarazo, so I'm gonna actually leave those. I'm not sure in the description or here, just like showing their logos or their IG handles, but check them out. If they're in your area, hit them up, and whether it's for drinks, food, whatever you're interested into. But once again, thank you guys for everything. Thanks for all the love and support. Until next time, deuces.